This guy is called Swedgen. He's got coloring similar to Missy, but he's in no way related to Missy as far as I know. And he just missed his uh, strike to get a good grip on this mouse. He, uh, I guess this is a fuzzy. He often doesn't seem to get a good grip yet on the first strike head on. He tends to want to go for the side of the body, but this time, as you'll see, he doesn't even do that. He just uh, sniffs around a bit and then just walks up and gently bites the fuzzy. And uh, after kind of hesitating to make sure I'm not going to, I guess, do something he doesn't like, he uh, begins to alternate left and right side of the mouth movements to uh, consume his dinner. I have yet to really figure out how this works. I know there's there's some teeth in there that help uh, get a grip and then I guess the teeth combined with uh, moving the left and right side of the mouth eventually allow them to uh, draw the food into their mouth or I guess you could look at it the other way. They're working their mouth down the body of their prey. But um, fascinating to watch, I think, especially if you've never seen this before. Now I've got the tube, you uh, might be wondering about the tube. I have mentioned this in other videos. I like to use the tube so that the snake feels secure. He could pull back into the tube and hide. And usually after they finish eating, they will pull into the tube. And then I can just pick up the tube and put the tube and the snake back into the enclosure without touching the snake. And I. I like that because we had a snake that uh, regurgitated right after being handled, right after eating. So I tried to avoid handling them at all after they've eaten. Coloring on this guy is quite nice. And I think this video does a good job showing it. I, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how the color may change as he gets older. Okay, so apparently I got too close and I scared him into the tube. Uh, so I'm showing this, even though it's not such a great shot, because I like the, uh, the way you can see the top lip, the little slot for the tongue to come out of. And uh, as he finishes consuming this mouse, he gives a big yawn. So uh, I could have edited this, I suppose, and jumped further to the end. But uh, I think it's interesting how he comes back out while he's chewing his way down, he actually sort of starts moving toward the opening a bit more. And uh, then when he finishes consuming this mouse, which took him maybe, I don't know, three, three and a half minutes, you'll see how his mouth doesn't quite close. The jaw is unhinged. I guess they have to do something to get them properly realigned because even when the mouse is fully down his throat, his upper and lower lips don't meet and you'll see him do the yawn to try and get that rectified but his first yawn doesn't uh, quite fix the problem and if you went back and looked at the beginning of the video you'll see his tongue comes out and you can't really see any space between his lips at all so you'll get to see the yawn and then we'll be done because I think I cut it off after that here comes the yawn see how you can see both sides of the lips on either side of the middle open well, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you next time. Yawn. Bye-bye.